Hey guys, today I have a review for you on a bunch of different Noble Bebe products. Um, they are mostly known for their pre-flats and their gorgeous, gorgeous colors, like this beautiful mustardy color. I mean, this is absolutely stunning. Maybe the number one reason why I decided to pick some stuff up from them, honestly. But these are the first pre-flats that I've ever tried. So let's talk about the items that I have, my feelings on them, and let you know whether or not I would recommend the brand. So in this little stack, I have one of their do-it-all pads, one of their super do-it-all pads, a newborn pre-flat, a one-size pre-flat, and the toddler-size pre-flat. And now I'm thinking black was not the best color to choose because it's kind of hard to see any detail on this. <laughs> so let me show you exactly what a pre-flat is with this little newborn one. So it is like a pre-fold, but also like a flat, and it's also like just almost like kind of like a fitted, like it's like got the little wings on it. It's like a really cool new like hybrid diaper insert kind of deal. So anyway, let me show you how it works. So you have these little wings up here and then you can fold in this bottom part, fold it up onto baby and pin it or snappy it right on. It's just like a really foolproof way to use a very simple diaper. So it's like a pre-fold, it's like a flat, and those are some of the easiest diapers to wash because they have less layers than like big, thick, all-in-ones or fitteds and stuff like that. So they get extra clean because they fold right out into like a big floppy piece of material, you know? So these are probably like two layers thick, you know, one on top, one on the back, and surged around the edges so it's very easy to go through the wash and to get itself clean very easy to go through the dryer and get dry in a reasonable amount of time nothing bugs me more than getting the diaper laundry out of the dryer and half of the things still being damp <laughs> you never have that issue if you're using something that's just you know a couple layers thick so these are all 67% uh, bamboo, 28% organic cotton, and 5% spandex for that little bit of stretch in there. So they're all natural fibers, which you guys know that's something that I love. I really try to stick to more natural fibers with all of our diapers in this household. You don't get the problems like you do with microfiber, polyester, artificial kind of fabrics. So let's start off with this little newborn guy. As you guys can see, it's super duper teeny tiny. It's like the littlest thing ever. And this worked on baby Barrett when he was a newborn in those first couple of weeks. However, he started out peeing it within like the first or second week, which babies don't pee a lot in that like first week because they're really not drinking a lot of milk at all just like little tiny bits at a time so this was perfectly fine when he was still you know not drinking that much milk and therefore not peeing a whole bunch but once he started actually drinking more milk and actually peeing bigger peas i had to always add a little booster inside for this guy and i liked to use the size small doublers from green mountain diapers it just fit really nicely i would just throw it right in between these folds here so it just sat right there and it was perfect perfect little size so even though this is a tiny little thing i did have to fold up this bottom section just a little bit but because it's so nice and thin it wasn't bulky at all to have to fold it up a little bit in that first like week or two on baby barrett so because of how quickly my little baby Barrett started to out pee this guy and then eventually grew out of this guy, I would say you probably don't need the newborn size. It's just so teeny tiny and I mean, yeah, it's great if you have like smaller babies maybe and maybe you don't mind having to boost it up, not a big deal. A lot of pre-flats do kind of need a little bit of boosting as baby gets a little bit bigger. But overall, just honestly, I wouldn't really recommend the newborn size. He just outgrew it so quickly not just in absorbency but like the actual size of the thing it's so teeny tiny he outgrew it pretty quickly as well and I actually think that the one size fit pretty decently like as soon as he started outgrowing this guy the one size was fitting perfectly fine on him so it's, it wasn't too crazy bulky or anything it was actually a really nice and it kind of has a little bit of a built-in absorbency in there because it's such a bigger diaper on a small baby you know so honestly I would have to say just skip the newborn and go straight for the one size honestly even though I didn't I don't think I really tried the one size on him like as soon as he was born it was probably he was probably a couple weeks old before I tried the one size on him but it fit perfectly fine at that age so 
I would say just go straight for the one size, honestly. Now, of course, this whole video is all just about my opinion. If you have a different opinion, let us know down in the comments below. If you've tried out any of these Noble Baby products, let us know which ones are your favorites and not so favorites and what you would recommend because it's always nice to look down in the comments and see everybody's different opinions, not just mine. So at about one month old, he was fitting into the one size perfectly fine, not too bulky, just a really nice little fit on his body. And I do wanna show you right now, he is exactly three months old and I do still have to fold up the front of the one size. So let me show you here. Um, I just fold it up a little bit, like into like almost like a third of how big it is. Fold that up and then fold it in and then put it on Barrett. And it works perfectly fine on him still. And it has a little bit of extra added absorbency because you kind of like fold it up right there at the front. And I have boys. <laughs> Bear Bear is a little boy. So the P is always right there at the front. And you can also get the little... Uh, do it all pads to throw inside there as a little extra booster. So let's talk about the do it all pad by itself. And you can buy these in like two packs. You can buy them like combined with a pre flat. She's got lots of different options there on the Noble Baby website. So the do it all pad is just a little rectangular piece of fabric that you can fold in half for baby. Or if you have a little newborn, you might be able to fold it in thirds the other way to keep it a little bit you know, a little bit more narrow through the crotch section anyway. Um, you can throw that inside of the pre-flat. So you've got the pre-flat, you add your little booster guy in there and then fold it all up. So you've got that ad added extra absorbency inside. So baby's not gonna out pee their pre-flat too quickly. Now I originally only had the newborn and the one size for Barrett. And then when he was about two months old, I wanted to check out the toddler size to see exactly how much bigger it was. And I will compare sizes in just a minute, but at eight weeks old, I put the toddler size on him and once again it fit perfectly fine not too bulky the thing about preflats is that they can be so trim they're only like a couple of layers on the butt side of baby so it's not big and bulky it's not super thick you know and so when you even do have to like kind of double it up or kind of have to fold it a little bit in the front it's still not too big because it wasn't too fluffy to begin with so if you like a trim diaper preflats are totally the way to go 100% so anyway even though he was wearing the toddler size at eight eight weeks old it still wasn't too crazy bulky too big even in the crotch section I would show you I'll show you how I would um fold it in here so of course I am it's so awkward to like show you guys okay so <laughs> of course I fold up the bottom here and then you just kind of like angle your folds here as you come in so it makes it a little bit more narrow for baby um in the between the legs section you know so it's not too crazy thick or anything between the legs but yeah it totally still fit fine even though it was a toddler size on an eight week old baby next let's talk about the super do it all pad so it is kind of like a doubled up version of the do it all pad so that's the do it all pad and this is the super do it all pad and it's got color on one side and white on the other and the cool thing about this is that it's like a tunnel style so when it goes through the wash or goes through through the wash it gets cleaner and through the dryer especially it will dry more quickly so it's not like a bunch of layers all sewn together and being really you know not super thick but you know a thicker little piece of fabric to go through the dryer it's got the hole in there so that it actually like dries quickly which is wonderful beautiful design awesome concept and it actually does work so that's great once again you could just use this you know double it up fold it in half and use it as a little booster inside of somebody's diaper maybe like an overnight you might need that with the pre-flat you can put it inside of the pre-flat you could use it as a an insert all on its own for like the newborn baby days i remember i did use it like fold it up into thirds and lay it inside of a cover for Barrett when he was, you know, under a month old or something. So yeah, that's a nice little guy as well. It's nice that there are different options for what you can add inside. Instead of having to use two of these, you can just get one of these and throw it inside of the pre-flat for a little bit of added extra absorbency. So I think I'll get down on the floor and show you guys all the sizes compared to each other, exactly how big they all are. All right, first of all, here we have the toddler size. Next, I have the one size. So it looks like the one size is a little bit shorter in the wings, kind of the same, same little cutout for maybe a little bit smaller here in the, 
in this section. <laughs> and then you've got, you know, about an inch on either side and like two inches on the bottom. So overall, the toddler on the bottom and the one size on top, just a little bit size difference. And then you have the newborn here, which is teeny tiny, little tiny newborn one. So it is smaller in this section, a lot smaller in the wings and the body and all of that. So those are the three sizes compared to each other. So I thought we'd do a little absorbency test on these Noble Baby products. I have the newborn pre-flat, the one size, the toddler, and one of their do-it-all pads. And I will be pouring some water onto them until they start to leak out the sides, and then I'll let you know how much absorbency we can get out of these. I do have the one size and the toddler folded up like I would on Barrett at this age, so they are a little bit doubled up here on the front part of them, but let's hop in and see how much absorbency we can get out of them. We only got about a quarter cup out of that newborn size. Almost one cup on the one size. Just about the same one cup on the toddler size. and about a third of a cup on the do-it-all pad. So overall, I usually say about one and a quarter cups is a very standard absorbency for an insert. That's what I can get out of a one size bird's eye flat diaper. One and a quarter cups is kind of like the standard. So these two um, pre-flats here do, you know, they're right at one cup, so they're a little bit less than what I would consider a good uh, starting point for an insert, but if you add in the do-it-all pad in there, you've got plenty of absorbency within the pre-flat. And with them being such a thin layer, just a double layer of fabric on the pre-flats, um, a lot of pre-flats do need some extra boosting in there. So the do-it-all pads will totally do that for these particular diapers. But overall, I would totally recommend this diaper brand. I think it's a lot of fun trying some pre-flats. I've also bought other pre-flats since I first bought these. You know, I tried these out. These are my first pre-flats that I tried and I was really into them. So I went and looked at more like Etsy shops, you know, homemade kind of stuff. And I have found a lot of cool stuff out there. So this is just my first little dabble in the pre-flat world, which made me really become obsessed with finding other pre-flats, honestly. Preflats are definitely more of like a luxury kind of diaper, I would say, as far as the price point is concerned but they are like luxurious otherwise. Like when you wrap it around baby, stretchy little diapers on babies just are, look so luxurious and feel so luxurious. And the colors are just like absolutely gorgeous, you know? So yeah, they're a little bit more of a luxury kind of a diaper item, but if you are able and if you're into it, I would totally recommend trying them out. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what other diapers you would like me to try out and show off to you guys. Give my thoughts on, we have lots and lots of reviews coming. I'm trying to do one a week. Um, and we still have newborn stuff coming as well. I just, Bear is still fitting in some newborn things and I didn't want to review newborn items until he had already like outgrown them. So anyway, um, we have lots more content to come. So make sure you are subscribed to this channel if you are not already. Let me know what you thought of this video by giving it a thumbs up, hopefully. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll talk to you next time.